So, uh, this movie is about, uh, you know, magic and crap like that. So, you know, take your kids to see it. Okay, so this movie, right, is about, uh, it's set in, like, this magical world and stuff, right? And this one wizard is just like, hey, yo, bros, I got you guys a stick. And, they're, and then they're like, hey, yo, dope. So they accidentally use the stick to bring their father back to life for 24 hours. But they only end up with his legs because, you know, the movie has to happen. And then they go off on a magical quest to find the rest of their father. You know, the torso. So uh, the rest of this movie is uh, these two brothers. One of them who's Chris Pratt. And he's like, has his head in the clouds because he thinks he's a knight or something. And wants to go on a quest and the younger brother played by the one spider-man kid who is more practical and uh, the legs of the dad and they go off to search for the rest of the dad who is disembodied because you know magic so this movie is set during the modern age sort of kind of maybe and uh the magic aspect comes from the fact that you know, there are like modern conveniences all over the place. There's like cars and, you know, stuff like that. The only really magical thing throughout this whole movie is just the staff, the stick that the boys get that, you know, bring the father's legs back to life or whatever. And uh, honestly, other than that, everything else is sort of like regular things because, you know, apparently they forgot what magic was or some stupid like that. So they had to evolve and use technology and that's a thing. But uh, yeah, um, guys, this is pretty. Um, this is a pretty me mediocre movie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it does look very, very good because you know it's Pixar. You know they throw all their money into the animation budget, and it looks pretty good. It looks kind of spectacular, honestly. Now the problem with the animation, uh, I must say, is the fact that the backgrounds—they look stunning, right? They look like photorealistic. They look like they—they could actually be in our world. But the characters look like something out of Ratatouille. And as you could probably tell, um, that kind of doesn't exactly always mix together as well as it should. But uh, yeah, um, the voice cast did a phenomenal job. You know, it's pretty dope. You know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I have no really no, no real complaints about that. Um, especially the weird dragon lady thingo. She did a really good job I don't know who that was but you know props to them but I think like the biggest problem I have with this movie is the fact that I really didn't care <laughs> um, it's just that that movie's quest is just like let's go find this father's torso and or else he's gonna be gone in like 24 hours or something so it's like yeah okay but like I don't really care <laughs> I mean I don't mean to sound like a dick but I don't know, that's kind of how I felt. I'm just like, yeah, okay, you're on a quest, and it's whatever. I also didn't really find it that funny, but, you know, everybody has a different sense of humor, so that's kind of a subjective thing to say, but I don't know, that's just me. I really thought that it was pretty mediocre, except for the, uh, you know, the visuals, because those are pretty dope. But, uh, I don't know, that's it for me, guys. Um, it's a family movie. Take, take your kids to see it, if you have them. But uh, honestly, for adults, I'm not sure if you're going to find mu anything of much substance. But, you know, that's just my review. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.